Hey everybody, it's the Bat Guru, and today's episode is a Did You Know episode. And this is Did You Know How Louisville Slugger Came About? 1884, picture a young Bud Hillerick working in his dad's woodworking shop in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. Beautiful day outside, sunny, and it's just uh, one of the best days around. So Bud Hillerick decides, I don't want to sit here and turn wood for furniture anymore. I want to go watch a baseball game. So he skipped out on work went down and watched the local professional baseball team, the Louisville Eclipse. And the Louisville Eclipse had a baseball player on their team, and his name was Pete the Gladiator Browning. Pete also went by the name of the Louisville Slugger. So Pete Browning came up to the plate, had a bad day at the plate, snapped his bat on his last at bat. Uh, Bud Hillary went up to him and mentioned that he had a woodworking shop that he could turn him a wooden bat to be able to be used for the next day. Pete Browning took him, uh, took him up on the offer and went with uh, Bud Hillrick to the woodworking shop and they turned him a wooden bat. The very next day, Pete Browning took that bat out, went three for three, had many other players also requesting that Bud Hillrick make bats for them. So Bud Hillrick had an idea and he took it to his dad and said, let's start making wooden baseball bats. His dad quickly shut it down and said, baseball is a fad. There's no reason for us to be in that business. Everyone will always need furniture, and we are a wood furniture-making company. Bud Hillerick went against his dad's wishes and decided, I'm still going to make wooden bats, and that he did. And the name Louisville Slugger came from Pete Browning, who, as I mentioned earlier, was known as the Louisville Slugger. Fast forward to 1905. Honus Wagner, the very first professional athlete ever to endorse a brand, had his name put on the Louisville Slugger. So Honus Wagner is the first professional athlete to ever endorse a brand. Louisville Slugger is the first to ever put an athlete on their product. We all know from that point, the endorsements for major uh, sporting good companies has become huge, and we can attribute the beginning of that to Louisville Slugger. 135 years later, Louisville Slugger still makes wooden bats for Major League Baseball players. Louisville Slugger still makes wooden bats for youth baseball players. Louisville Slugger makes composite and aluminum bats for baseball, or youth baseball and youth softball. They are the oldest bat company in the history of the United States. So that, my friends, is today's Did You Know from the Bat Guru.